Okay, I really hope this man doesn't see this, but I have been dying to tell you guys this story. So before I went on my trip, I had a party that I had to go to, and I knew that there was going to be a boy there that I had a little crush on, so I was super excited. I get all ready, I go to the party, and he ends up showing up, and I go say hi to him, but I keep it like super casual, say hi, and end up just walking away. About an hour goes by, we've had some drinks, and then at the party they start playing games, and we end up being on the same team. So we're on this team, we're being flirty, he's making it very clear that he's also into me. About an hour goes by, we're hanging out, and he's like, I have to go to the bathroom. And I'm like, okay, I don't think anything of it. He's gone for like 15 minutes, and I'm like, fuck, I have to go pee. So I go to walk to the bathroom, and as I get there, he's walking out, and he's like, I waited for you, what took you so long? And I'm like, oh shit, I didn't know that was an invitation. And he's like, well, next time, and walks away. So I get out, we go take a shot together, and he ends up being like, hey, I actually really want to make out with you, but my ex-boyfriend is here, we're still friends, and I just want to be respectful and I don't want him to see. So I'm like, okay, and then I'm like, oh man, like we've had a lot of drinks, I have to go to the bathroom again, do you want to come with me? So he comes with me and we go to the downstairs bathroom where not many people go, we're in the bathroom, one thing leads to another, we're not necessarily being quiet by any means. Well, he's not being quiet. And as we're going at it, the door opens and I just like slam it closed. I thought that shit was locked, but I guess it wasn't. And I'm thinking like, we're gonna stop. No, no, he didn't care. So eventually he's like, okay, fuck. Like we pull up our pants, we're done, right? We open the door and guess who's outside of that door? his ex-boyfriend and all of his ex-boyfriend's friends. So right when we walk out, his ex tried to play it cool and was like, oh, what were you guys doing in there? I didn't know what to do, so I just kept walking upstairs. We get upstairs and I ask the man like, hey, I know that was literally worst case scenario. Are you okay? And he's like, yeah, that really sucked. Let's go get a drink. So we go get another drink and then I end up just going and hanging out with other friends. And about an hour goes by and he comes up to me and he is like trashed. like very drunk and I'm like are you okay he's like yeah, yeah I'm fine like I just need to lay down so I turn into dad he's laying on this chair outside and I'm like do you need water do you need food like what do you need and he's like nothing I'm good I just need to lay here but man's was looking like very drunk so I'm like are you sure you're not gonna throw up a couple minutes goes by and he sits up and I'm like oh fuck this man is gonna throw up and this is a big party. A lot of people are outside, so I did not want him throwing up where everybody could see because that would be so embarrassing. So I pick his ass up and rush him to the downstairs bathroom. So we get to the bathroom, it starts out pretty calm. He's throwing up and I'm just rubbing his back, but then he stands up and he starts making the most violent throw up sounds I've ever heard. And I'm like, no, 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 sit back down and throw up in the toilet. So he starts throwing up while he is standing up. So it gets all over the toilet. And I'm just like, okay, okay, okay. Like one mistake, it gets worse. He keeps throwing up. I have never in my life seen a human throw up for like 15 minutes straight. And it just kept coming. At this point, the entire floor is covered in throw up. At one point, I was like, I can clean this up. Like, I will just, like, I'll just clean it up. I felt so bad for the homeowner. But then it got so bad that I was like, there's no fucking way I'm cleaning this. At this point, this man is literally like incoherent, but I knew he came to the party with his best friend. So I grabbed his phone and I was like, what is your best friend's name? And he told me, so I was able to be like, hey Siri, call. So Siri fucking calls his best friend and he's like, hey, where are you? And I'm like, hey, this is Jeff. Like, we're in the downstairs bathroom. Can you please come down here? So he gets down there. I open the door. He walks in and he's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, yeah, can you go get the homeowner? Because I at least need to tell them what has happened to this bathroom. So he gets down there and he's like, okay, we're going to close this bathroom down because it is unusable and you guys can take him to the backyard that's closed off so he can get some fresh air. So I'm outside with his best friend taking care of this man. My buzz is completely gone and this man is still obliterated. So I'm like, he may have alcohol poisoning, like something is wrong. And I'm asking his friend, like, do we need to take him somewhere? Like, 
whatever else. And his friend's like, no, 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 he's fine. We'll just get him some water and then I'll just like take him to my house and I'll come back to the party. I'm like, oh no, that is not what I'd want my best friend to say in this scenario. So I offer to take him to my house or to go with him. And he's like, no, 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 everything's fine. I'll just take him and I'll come back. So I help his friend take him out to the Uber. And then I text the man, and I'm like, hey, when you wake up in the morning and you're coherent, text me. So I wake up to a text from him and he's like, hey, my friend told me what happened. I am so fucking sorry, but I really, really, really appreciate you helping and like being there for me the entire time. Despite all of that happening, I'm like, well, this guy's really cute. I'm still down to hang out with him. So I'm like, hey, I'm going on a Euro trip. I'll be back in two weeks if you would still like to hang out. And he's like, yeah, I would love that. Text me when you get back. So I get back and I hit him up and I'm like, hey, how's it going? Do you still want to hang? And he texts me back and he's like, hey, yeah, I would love to hang. But as a heads up, I did start dating someone, so it would need to be strictly as friends. All desire to date this man goes out the window, so I text him back and I'm like, wow, you work really quick. Let me know on the ends when you want to fuck.